All right. So I let my fungicide go a little too late. You can see I got dollar spots showing up again. It's going to be a persistent year. I can see that. But today's video is going to be about talking about how to selectively control hard weeds that there's no selective herbicide for. This particular case, look what I got going on here. Looky here. You can tell by its flat oval shape. See how it's flat and oval, bluish green color. Orchard grass. Got a little bit of it starting to kind of tick me off a little bit. Can't have it, gotta go. No selective for it. There's only one way to deal with orchard. Glyphosate, Roundup. So I watched a Virginia Tech webinar this week about it. I asked a question about the best way to deal with it. And they said the glove and glove method, which I'm gonna actually demonstrate to you how that's done right now. <clears throat> So, basically what I've done, I got me about a half a gallon of water, about two ounces of glyphosate, rinse that out good, right. two ounces and half a gallon will give me a full percent solution if I was making a gallon. And it got me about uh, two ounces of surfactant. Right. We're going to mix this up a little bit. Now we have to be careful when we're doing this that we don't spill this chemical because of course it's going to kill everything and we don't want to do that and I don't want dead spots in my yard till fall. So now the glove and the glove. Black nitrile gloves. I would not use um, latex. I would use black nitrile and a standard brown jersey glove. All right. The way this is going to work is you put your black nitrile on first. This is the barrier to protect you from the chemical. And then you put on your cloth glove. Right. This is what's going to actually have the chemical on it, like a wick. Rover pop pop, you came to visit us, pop pop. Looking for some din din. All right. All right. So let's take our chemical out here. We'll go ahead and notice I let my grass get a little tall purposefully. Um, and I did this so that um, if I can get it to focus for you. Uh, maybe it'll focus. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. I had to use my nose. I couldn't use the gloves. It wouldn't touch. All right. <clears throat> so here's a piece of orchard grass right here. So make sure that my container is safe. I'm going to dip my gloves in, get my gloves wet, but I don't want it sopping wet. I don't want it to drip. Watch this. I'm going to wipe that blade of grass. That's all I'm going to do. Notice that the blade is now, if you can see it where it's wet, okay, 
what I have done is I have put enough chemical on this plant now that it will get in there and kill it. And I'm staying away from my fescue. Alright, here's some more good tall stuff right here. I'm going to grab all of it and wipe it. Okay. Being careful not to grab any of my other fescue, only to touch the orchard grass and get the orchard grass. Right. That's the glove and glove method. That's how you do it.